East West Rail is a mammoth rail project which promises to transform travel between Oxford and Cambridge and travel from east to west in general north of London. After HS2 it must be the single largest rail infrastructure project currently underway. With that in mind I've decided to make two separate videos on EWR. This first one will look at some of the progress that has been made so far and some of the key milestones achieved on the section between Bicester and Bletchley. The next video will look at EWR as a whole and the recent funding announcement for the section between Bletchley and Cambridge. Funding for the current phase of East West Rail was agreed in 2021 and will see the Varsity Line brought back into use between Bicester and Bletchley. This involves building new bridges, laying new rails and building a new station at Wilnslow. One of the biggest milestones reached so far was the reconstruction of the Bletchley flyover that will take EWR tracks over the busy West Coast Main Line. There was an existing flyover in place, however the structure was not deemed suitable for continued use. In total, 14 of the flyover's 37 spans were removed with some spans replaced like for like. However, the section which crosses the West Coast Main Line was replaced entirely with a new huge box structure. Constructing the box structure over the West Coast Main Line instead of replacing the flyover sections meant that the main line could be kept open during the works and it was also claimed that the new design also saved £70 million. The main structure for the flyover which connects EWR to the new high level station was completed in November 2021. However, work on the high level station at Bletchley continues. The high level station will have platforms numbered 7 and 8 and will eventually serve EWR with trains from Oxford travelling north to Milton Keynes via the West Coast Main Line and east to Bedford via the Marston Vale Line. The new flyover and station will eliminate conflicts between West Coast Main Line trains and EWR trains travelling east and west and allow trains travelling from Oxford to Milton Keynes to reach the up down slow tracks on the West Coast Main Line. The new platforms will be connected to the existing station via a pedestrian bridge, the first section of which was lifted into place in December 2022. The footbridge has since been fully completed and connected to the existing overbridge which serves the mainline platforms. As of July this year, no decision has been made on whether or not an eastern entrance to Bletchley Station will be included, however the CG renderings do seem to suggest that an entrance would be included. It certainly would seem to make sense to improve connectivity between the railway station, town centre and bus station, as access from the railway station to the bus station currently entails a 5 minute walk via a set of steps onto Queensway or 10 minutes for wheelchair users via Sherwood Road and Queensway. Since the initial funding announcement in 2021, a huge amount of progress has been made between Bicester and Bletchley, with around 40 kilometres of track already laid. In addition, work to construct a new station at Wilnslow is largely complete and the first rails were installed through the station at the beginning of this year. However, while some parts of the route are receiving the first sections of rail, other parts are still very much under construction, with key road bridges yet to be completed. Five of the new bridges are either under construction or have been completed that will replace road over rail bridges and level crossings. Queen Catherine Road in Steeple Claydon, for example, was a level crossing, but now a new road bridge has been constructed on a new alignment with a concrete bridge crossing over the railway. A new road over rail bridge at Addison Road appears to be behind schedule and there looks to be a lot of work left to do in order to reopen the road, which has been closed since February this year and was expected to reopen this summer. Despite the Addison Road Bridge forming part of the EWR route, the works are in fact being carried out by HS2 contractors. This is because a new wider bridge needed to be constructed to accommodate the link from EWR to the HS2 infrastructure maintenance depot. Heading west from Addison Road, the EWR tracks must begin to rise in order to pass over HS2 and the new rail over road bridge to the west of the HS2 EWR crossing. Once complete, the road will be realigned to pass underneath the EWR tracks instead of over at present. I've made a separate video about the crossing and HS2 infrastructure maintenance depot, so won't go into too much detail. But in that video, I may have suggested that HS2 will hand the site over to EWR teams so they can complete the embankments. 
However, the embankments, track drainage and first layer of ballast will be constructed by the EKFB joint venture who are delivering this section of the HS2 route. To the south of the crossing at Calvert, a section of the HS2 route, which may one day also serve East West Rail, is under construction. This section, which is using part of the old Great Central Railway alignment, will be used for part of the HS2 route. However, there are plans to provide a connection from Quinton Junction to EWR that would allow trains to travel north from Aylesbury to Milton Keynes and or Cambridge. Funding for this connection is yet to be agreed, however passive provision for the link is being provided as part of the HS2 works. It should be emphasised that the construction of HS2 in no way precludes the construction of a link and that it is up to government to fund the link as part of the EWR works. The section of the GCR route south of the Calvert Bridge crossing was a hive of activity when I visited a few weeks ago, with a lot of earth being moved. This despite the fact that this section of the Great Central Railway retained tracks up until as recently as last year, having been used as a railhead so that construction materials could be delivered to site via rail. However, the GCR track bed is still having to be heavily remodelled to accommodate HS2 and a possible link to EWR, in addition to the rail connection for the infrastructure maintenance depot. Despite the first rails having already been installed and key milestones achieved, it'll be some time before we see the first trains running between Oxford and Milton Keynes, with work on the section between Bicester and Bletchley expected to be completed by 2024, with hopes that the first train services could commence between Oxford and Milton Keynes by 2025. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at the route beyond Bletchley and the possible services that will operate on EWR once it is fully complete. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video.